Hey and welcome back! This is episode 45 of Let's Play Pokemon Shield. And today... Um, there's... So there's running an, an event to get some more Apricorn Balls. And a few others. So I'm going to get them real quick. If the battery runs out or the internet connection is broken, you might not get them anymore. Which is a little scary, actually. But yeah. Um, so the first code is... Kunin Mascot and... The meaning of that... Uh, is basically official mascot. Oh, it's just the order up there is a little weird. Let's see. It should be working, right? Item set gift. Alright. What do we get? A present with uh, three balls, I think. A level ball, a moon ball, and a fast ball. And yeah, you can see the time when I'm recording this and the date. So I know uh, my upload, my uploads are a little behind. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's get the second one, and this one is called. Iahaya and it basically means something like blimey all right I didn't actually expect this to take so long there's also a fourth code uh, it's basically just present to get 10 Luxury Balls. Not sure how worth that is, considering the time we will lose by inputting that. Uh, heavy Ball, Lure Ball and Beast Ball. Yeah, the Beast Ball is actually in the game, even though there are no Ultra Beasts, sadly. Alright, uh, the third code is... Um, Okuga Fukaiboru um, And this one basically means um, There's more than meets the eye, b all. So the b all is basically just a wordplay for ball while talking to us all. I don't know. I guess they're from the ball guy. This presence. A love ball, a friend ball, and a dream ball. The dream ball actually got changed. And it now. Because, like, there's no dream world anymore, but... <coughs> but there is... Um, there is the sleeping status that will uh, make the, the dream ball more... Or just better, having a higher catch rate. Alright, the... And luxury boss. Thanks. All right. Um, I guess I could get the meowth as well when I, while I'm at it. Maybe. Yeah, it's still here. It doesn't really matter when to get it. I guess. It's just. Um, yeah, we can't really edit or reset for any 
like the gender or gender and the nature and stuff so yeah the nature and ivs we can maximize or change the nature but yeah you can change it otherwise so let's take a look i guess it should be in the pc there it is it's level five and we don't see the gender of the pokemon it's male oh and it has that gigantamax symbol uh, at its name or to, to the left of its name on the right so yeah the nature is really bad the ability i don't know if it changes i mean this one shouldn't be evolved to Persian anyway, so I guess it's whatever. And this uh, Gigantamax Meowth has like a special payday G-Max move to get a lot of money. So that's nice, I guess. And yeah. Alright, this is the new look. Um, it's kind of like... Well, it's very similar to one I used at around the second gym because I kind of like it. It's pretty good looking in my opinion. So yeah, we're back with this look and um, I guess I'll go outside. We made it to Winden in the last episode and it will shortly be time to explore the city some more. And but first, let's look at the team real quick. We have Greedent, Dracovish, Beruscuda, Copperaja, Dracosalt, Rillaboom. And yeah, some are waiting in the box still. Corviknight, Colossal, Appleton, Dreadnought, and Sentiscorch. And they're almost all at about like level 45, 44. So that's nice. And yeah, I guess. I'll do this now. Uh, I'll do it from the item bag actually. So yeah, we got a few new balls. Dream ball, beast ball, repeat ball. From the others, like the apricot balls, we already had some. But now we have two of them. And I want to sort. Alright. Yeah, the beast ball will just have a normal pokeball effect. Since there are no ultra beasts. Alright, got a few new items and moves. So yeah, I did get Waterfall so that Dracovish can have a, a water move besides Water Gun, which is pretty needed in my opinion. That's why I got it from the like from one of the guys in the wild area. I guess I should have gotten more because. Alright, I got Dragon Dance as well, just in case. Maybe Draco Salt or maybe even Draco Wish could learn it, but nope, they can't. So, yeah, finally, uh, Draco Wish has a good move. And I actually really, really wanna go back to the wild area. check if I got the, the waterfall TR on the same day or I don't know it doesn't really have to be on the same day but it just needs to still be available which could be the case um, I'm not sure if those are the same Or if it's the same stuff this guy had. Alright, I guess I... It's a little annoying that I have to go to the wild area right now, but... And it's nice to see anyway, right? <laughs> I guess. Oh my god, without the boost, it's so slow. Right, it should be the same day since... These things are still 
deactivated because I got the wards from them. Um, I think the guy with the waterfall should be at the start of the wild area actually. But I'll still check this one out. Just in case. Some useful moves and what is this? An ultra ball, okay. I did buy some items actually. Um, so I will have enough uh, healing items and stuff for the champion cup once we get there. Okay, there's another guy right here. It's kinda annoying that we can't see them until we're really close, but that's how it is. We could get Dragon Claw, but yeah. I'm fine. Um, I got the new dragon move from the dragon gym already. And that's good enough for now. So I think I'll just fly there because it's a lot faster. Um, I think it's the guy over there actually. So let's get to the meetup spot. Do you have anything? I mean, they do have stuff, which is nice, but it's pretty expensive, so... I'm not just getting all of, that, of these things. Yeah, once, uh, once you beat the game, you can actually get more wards from these dents, which is pretty cool, I guess. So it will be a lot easier to get anything them but for now it's not much all right I think this is the guy oh it's with dragon dance all right so it's the guy on the entrance which is right here all right uh, sorry for the detour I think it's, it's on the left what up, dude? You still have waterfall. I can actually buy two. And yeah, why not? I could teach it Dreadnought as well, but I don't know, actually. All right, Bear Scooter, please learn waterfall. I have enough of dive because that takes two turns and it's really, really annoying. Alright, and I guess the second one could be for Dreadnought, but I'm not sure if I wanna teach it. Because it should get a, its own uh, water move very soon, I hope. Because it still doesn't have anything besides Water Gun. So yeah, I think it should get Razor Shell. If it doesn't already have it, I don't think it does. Check summary. It still has water gun, yeah. It's kinda eh. But yeah. Let's explore the city finally. Sorry for the little detour. There's someone in the phone box. Hello? Yeah, I got tickets for front row seats in the stadium. Come on over. Yeah, there are actually still people using these. Can't wait to see Dynamax Pokemon. I think we talked to these already. The last part. Um, I guess let's walk through this street first. How many companies does Mr. Rose own? It? Maybe we talked to these as well. Mr. Rose used the power of his company to turn the city into a tourist spot, but without ruining the historical buildings and street. Right, I'm pretty sure we talked to them. But we didn't go in here. Or maybe we did, but we didn't battle the guy. Even if you get lost, it's fun to reach your destination by using the town map. Yep, especially because you can fly. 
So many people in the city I got lost, but thank goodness for the flying taxi. Right. I must turn to the guy. Palpitude, you've had too much to eat. Are you okay? Well, you see, we depend entirely on Pokemon that come to us for the Poke Chops as our hotel. Okay. So you're abusing them, or just using them for stuff. I can do jobs that Pokemon can't do. For example, uh, I don't know. But I'm sure there's something I could do. I'm sure you can, my dude. Don't worry. I'm training so that I can become huge too and help defeat Dynamax Pokemon. Oh, you wanna help the champion? Maybe I should go and have some max raid battles in the wild area before the match starts. Maybe. Alright, this dude... It could be a double battle, actually. So, I'm going to fight with these two. Welcome to the Battle Cafe! You can battle here once a day if you win. We'll give you a treat on the house. And yes, I want. Let's have a break. The, the yellow tie. So it's player 2 of Donkey Kong games. Hey! A different alchemy than normal. It looks like cookies attached to the... Or like ears or hair, I don't know. Alright, they're pretty high level, but I think we should manage to defeat them. Especially because of Copperaja. <laughs> Since it's a steel type and these are fairy types. Okay, just using helping hand. Put there's some gleam power up. Pretty strong. And you two will get squashed. And one of them is a steel type move, so goodbye. I'm actually a little excited for the Stadium. I'll get rid of Rock Smash because it's pretty weak anyway, so. Yeah. It won't really be stronger than some other move, usually. Intro. Oh my god. We could die. Yeah. Very likely, especially because of the crit. That's sad, especially because it's a pretty low level and should get some experience. But Dracovish could be fine. I don't think um, Slurpuff is super strong, so we should survive even if we play rough. And now. We can waterfall it. Yeah, we're faster anyway, so... Or at least, that's what I assume. And it's run over, or it's ran over. And it only has, like, Dazzling Gleam, okay. Did you eat an orange berry? Nope, a citrus berry, okay. Well... Do what you must. I can't really, can't believe it survived actually, waterfall being so weak, it's weird, but okay, let's climb that waterfall again, and we get hit, Draco salt level 46, the thing really uh, grew a lot. Hehehe, <laughs> I hope that battle was a complex, bitter experience for you. It definitely was bitter. So, do you give me an, a tart apple? Nope. I mean, I shouldn't... Or well, actually, maybe it's possible to get it here. I don't know. Pineapple juice. Pineapple. Um, it's a healing item, right? Uh, hold item, 
maybe. I don't know what it is. Is it the berries? It's kind of weird. I guess I must have missed it. I mean, it's not the balls, right? <coughs> so it should say shoes at the end. Okay. Maybe I'm blind or the thing is somewhere else. Whatever. I guess I'll figure it out between these episodes. Um, time to move on. Pretty sure I talked to you guys as well. Yeah, I went to this uh, the store and the hairdresser here. What about you? Oh, pretty sure I've talked to her as well. And we also went to the right here. Let's see. There's the hotel. Alright, we talked to these as well. I guess let's go on a different street. I've talked to these as well. Is this the train station or something? Looks like it, but it's a little weird. A Ferris wheel, but I'm afraid of hate. I want to do an entire loop of the Gala region. What better way to start than a Ferris wheel? Uh, certain Pokemon species love the train rails, they can cause rather amusing trouble at times. Okay. Is it Wulu? Because there was a problem at the beginning of the game. Widen is quite massive, so it can be frightful, uh, a frightful headache to find your way around. Best to use the monorail or ring up a flying taxi. Alright. Pokemart. Shouldn't have anything special. Hey. So you're protecting this one. This store. And we could go to the train, but I don't want to. It's up there. You can see one of Wyndon's famous monorail platforms right this way. Ooh. The monorail goes round and round the city. It's a dizzling a uh, this Dissing delight. So according to this, you can't reach Rose Tower unless you take the monorail. Ooh, Rose Tower. Sounds interesting. My Pokemon love music more than just about anything else. When they hear anything with a sick beat, they can't stand still. They're off like a shot. Six Sagoons. Okay, we can eat here. You get, uh, get so caught up in the action of these matches when you're in the stadium that you forget to eat. It's fine with me. Alright. We get heaps of thirsts here in Wyndon, so I change up the menu to cater to the tastes. Alright. I guess let's... Look at the hotel. I don't oh, so it's... This thing... I see. Um, that took quite a while for this black screen. Uh, so we 
can get around using this monorail. Yeah, not really anything special it seems. But I guess we could go to this rose tower. But first I wanna explore this route a little bit. Or this, this path. Let's look inside these uh, houses. Actually, I talked to you before, I'm pretty sure. And the city music is pretty similar to uh, Gen 5, I think. The champion's been a great boon to trainers. The sport has already has really taken off, so thanks to him. Plenty of trainers see his matches and get fired up, thinking, I'd like to be like him. Yep, especially his younger brother. It's like a global festival whenever the tournaments or the champion cup are on. People in Pokemon come from all over. I clean so that I can properly appreciate the beauty of the flowers. Yep, plants need love as well. The truest evolution for Pokemon is, I believe, becoming part of the team of true friends as they live together with and grow close to humans. Okay. Are you eating this apple? Munch munch. Oh my god. Why why are you doing this? Pure uh poor apple. In. Yeah, don't laugh like that. I guess it's happy as well. Or maybe the the dragon inside won't be eaten and it will just become a different Pokemon altogether. If I make it up on the stadium's big screen during the finals, then the whole world will know my face. Are you participating? Perhaps. Or is it just wishful thinking for now? Hmm, seems I've run out of time to read it, all the books I've got on my shelves. But even looking over their spines and reading the title springs back lovely memories. And it's always nice to have some books or some useful books um, on your shelf and stuff. Um, it's, ah, a crazy guy again. I'm searching for a Frostmouth. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? If you do, I'd like for you to trade it for my Duralodon, please. There's no point. I mean... Maybe some people can't find it. I'm not sure where it is exactly. But you can just look it up in the Pokedex after beating the 8th gym leader. The 8th gym leader. Uh, it can seem a wee bit harsh having it broadcast for all to see whether you've won or lost. But it's also a fine chance to understand exactly how strong you are if you care to. It's true. People will see this match. A lot of people will see it. Ooh, hey. Well, now, what's this? I see you have a Rotom phone and a bike. That means you must already know the Pokemon Rotom absolutely loves to jump into all sorts of different motors. I do. If you want to find out how a Rotom enters motors, then try to best my very own Rotom. Oh, so we have to beat it. Sure. Prepare to be confounded by all the various forms of my dear Rotom. Alright, another battle. Nice. So you do have all the Rotoms. The Rotom forms. Hey, where's the normal one? That's what I expect to be the first one. But it's okay, and they're pretty low level. And he only has three, so he doesn't even have all of them. And of course, we get burned to lower our attack. Just so this will take longer. We also can paralyze it. Because since Gen 6, we can't paralyze. Um, what do I do? Guess I'll go to Drake away. Uh, we can't paralyze electric types anymore since Gen 6. Just 
just like we can't uh, use powder moves and grass types. Yeah, you can use that. You're such a low level that it doesn't really matter. And we can survive it and just heal it up. And I actually it's just uh, made a sprite of Draco Wish or drew a sprite. Put it onto my Deviant Art. So if you haven't seen it already, you can check it out. My profile is just uh, Luigi minus player. Pretty sure I've said this before. Oh, he actually switched out. Did he use Wall Switch? I guess he did. Let's bite it, I guess. And it's faster. Oh, no. Just so we uh, get the reduced attack as well. That's so annoying. Oh my god. That's super duper annoying. Guess we'll use the special move. That lowers our special attack. And he gets a crit as well. What a super annoying opponent. Guess I, uh, I should have some special attackers. Will a boom? Uh, um, does he still have his special grass type move? I might have changed it. But yeah, um, yeah, he still has it. Maybe we are faster. Of course not. Yeah, faster opponent with uh, Widow Wisp. And pretty decent bulk. Without you having special attacks, it's really annoying. Not gonna lie. Yeah, Rotom, of course. I am going to switch to Draco Salt, I guess. You might use the grass one, but probably the fire one, right? Yeah. Alright, so that's a perfect switch. We have Rock Slide, but of course we miss and get burned again. Very funny. So now it'll survive. Maybe we managed to hit this time. Nope. I mean, I guess we have hustle, so it should be expected to miss sometimes. But maybe, yeah, the third one will finally hit. We can two hit KO it, thankfully. Hex, yeah, it's pretty strong. I mean, it's not stab, so. It's not super duper strong. Because only the, the normal Rotom form is a ghost type. But when they were introduced, they all were ghost electric, actually. Not even real experience, actually. So this is just to annoy us, I guess. And now the grass one is back. I'm going to hope our scooter will manage to defeat it, actually. Yeah, probably not. And it might die to Leaf Storm. But whatever. Just wanna get a hit on. Oh, it misses finally, because his moves aren't uh, that accurate, actually. Little bit is like 75 percent accurate, so it's not super great. <laughs> I did pose. But Rotom changes its type and moves when it changes its form. Yes, I know that. You defeated every one of my Rotom. You should be able to put this catalog to good use. Oh, it's a key item, I guess. A catalog of devices that Rotom likes. Use the catalog to have 
Rotom hop in and out of the various devices listed within. If you use it, uh, it will let Rotom enter all sorts of home appliances. Oh, and of course, Rotom can get out again. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, we're pretty... Yeah. Not looking too great. Four Pokemon burned. Oh my god, that's so... Stupid, to be honest. All just because I don't have Colossal or Sandy Scorch on the team. But yeah. I guess I could end the episode, but let's check out this last house. Oh, the superhero up there. Halusha. Halucha. Uh, that's it. That's the ticket. Maybe we can do a bit sharper the next time. I'm not sure what you guys are trying to do here. Alright. So this path is finished and we just need to go through these grassy fields. I'm going for a picnic with my Pokemon. Cheers. Alright. Guess this grassy field is the last. Uh, remaining thing we need to explore besides maybe the hotel. So there's still stuff to do in the city before we go to the stadium. Guess I'll switch up the team again. Just so we can have more variety. Alright, grass for grass. Water for water. And I definitely want one of these two on the team. Because I've had enough with... Um, with getting burned. Rock slide, flame charge. Yeah, not really strong moves. <laughs> At least he has flame wheels. Base power 60 and leech light. Yeah. I could have gotten flare blitz, I guess, but oh well. It should be able to learn heat crash, actually. But maybe it's also. It should be able to learn it by itself, actually. Just need to figure out. I guess I'll use it for now. Draco Sol is too high, actually. Anyway, and maybe Corviknight again, because why not? And that's it for now. Maybe there will be some battles before the Champion Cup. But then I will switch out the team again, or some Pokemon from the team. And yeah, that's it. 41 hours of playtime. I'll see you next time. Bye.